Could you just take us through those last two inbounds plays uh, in the final seconds? Absolutely, yeah. Um, we came out of timeout. Um, goal was to get JB on the ball going to his right hand. Um, I think I threw the ball a little bit early, considered, because uh, we executed pretty well. JB comes off, I think he's kind of caught up, or some, someone holds or something like that, and I threw it, threw it too hard. So that pass was a little barren on me. And then the second one, uh, we didn't execute well. Um, so we got a good look at it. We still got a three up. Um, didn't make it, you know, missed it. But um, just execution down the stretch. Um, we didn't. I, I got to be better in terms of just making sure that pass gets through. If it doesn't, make, making sure to call that timeout. Um, we had the extra timeout there and ch keep that lead from one to three. I and mean, we had another second opportunity, thankfully. But um, you don't want to put yourself in that position. You said the you didn't execute the last play, right? What what happened there that went wrong? Um, we just didn't um, do. We we I think we misread the, the play. Um, it was supposed to be a curl for JB, I think, to the three point line, and, and we didn't do it. So um, we just um, got a good look. Al Al popped back to the ball. I think that was the second option, and I got a good look at it. I left it short. Um, got to get that got ball up. Give it a chance. And Malcolm did a good job getting his hand on the rebound, but it was too late by then. Grant, um, you guys now have shot less than 30% in three of your last four games. What, is, is there anything that, that has been leading to that, or, or is it just missed shots? I think it's just missed shots, honestly. Um, when you look at this team, honestly, I think that we've improved in these past two games alone more than we would we, we, we look to because it looks worse because we are in the L column. But we got so many great looks, open opportunities, and I think guys, we're we're in a positive stance of moving forward. And we know that those are going to fall. Um, we trust everybody around. We're trying to work everybody back in, get everybody back acclimated to the whole rotation. So maybe it's just a little bit of that, and understanding that when when we didn't have everybody, you kind of have more freedom to play and everything like that. And now you have to kind of learn to get everybody back in and work everybody back into space and get everything right. And I think that we've done that in these past two games. Orlando did a phenomenal job of. Um, just competing. They played hard. They're a talented young team, and they got us twice. And um, I don't think it means means much into the future. We just got to do our job, taking care of the rest of the regular season. Can you explain how it's not just one guy that goes cold? It's kind of everybody that goes cold at the same time. How does the whole team get caught up in that ebb and flow? Yeah, I think that originally it starts like I think it started a couple games back. You know, it doesn't start. Mm -hmm in these past two games alone, even though it looks like it, you know. The shots that we took, we might have made, but they were maybe more difficult. So then when you get the open ones, you start playing freely in motion again. Now they're kind of too open. Now you kind of you miss shots, you know. And sometimes you go through stretches as a group, as a team. Sometimes you go through stretches individually. So I think that it's not something that we hang our heads on, hangs our head down, thinking that we can't get out of it, you know. Uh, I think that we come into this next game against the Pacers and, and we just take full opportunity to knock these shots down and still have confidence in each other to shoot them. Al got a lot of great looks tonight that just didn't fall. And that happens, you know. So um, I got myself got open looks that didn't fall. Like you just continue to work and challenge yourself to get those open looks because when you get open looks, you realize that that's better than doing it the other way and forcing things up. Grant, how steep is the learning curve, working guys back? I mean, Rob playing in short stints at different parts of the game and then Al as well coming off that five games. Yeah, I don't think it's that steep. I think it's just getting a matter of getting more fluid. You know, fluidity is huge for this group, and I think that we've done a, we've done a good job of that when guys go out. It's more difficult to do when guys get back. You look across the league, you always have a little bit of a like a hump to get over. But for us, since we're so used to playing with one another, when things start getting normal, when Rob is in a rotation, when you have everyone back, when JT's back and everything else, you have – pretty much an understanding of who's who in the group and how to how to play. So it's just a matter of getting that back together. We, we, we're, we're prepared for it, and it's something that and over the course of the season, just because we had that this great of a start, everyone thinks that it may, because we lose two games or one game, that it's like, oh, crap, what's going on? Versus for us, it's like, yeah, things happen. And we had a great stretch, but we got to understand we are human. We're capable of making mistakes. We're capable of not doing our jobs. We're capable of doing our jobs every single night. Like, it's just a matter of, of balance and keeping a level head. Is that the vibe, the mentality for you guys, having now dropped four of your last five? Absolutely. Not losing any confidence? Yeah, don't lose confidence. Just keep a level head and stay, stay, stay locked in onto what you're trying to accomplish. Because um, we we would look at things differently if we were three and two, and we would address those glare those weaknesses that we had. So it just shows that we have room to grow, and um, you don't let these games dictate the future. You just take them as they are, one at a time, and we know we have another one coming up. 
you guys, uh, your execution was like perfect pretty much for the first month and a half or so, and you've only scored over 120 like twice this month. What do you think was the thing that kind of just like felt a little different about how you guys were executing then that you don't have right now? Yeah, I think that you just got to get accustomed to playing that way at all times. You know, through that first month, we were doing a good job of playing freely, getting open looks, and then over the course of a stretch, I think we kind of got back to our old ways, old habits, and then we kind of came back, and now we're starting to figure ourselves out again. And just because the shots aren't falling doesn't mean that we're not playing the right way. And that's something that I've, I've been huge on the team, and we've been huge on, to, on each other saying that, um, just make sure we, we create the right advantages and create the right opportunity and it all, it'll all work out, you know. And we all have faith in one another. Well, no one's upset or tired or, or thinking about anything else besides this team. And it's super exciting to be able to have a group of guys that are willing to persevere and move forward. Grant, it seemed like when you guys are trying to rally, you guys are trying to make the, the like the spectacular play, maybe the, the low percentage pass, the, the like just doing things to – get the crowd going and get your guys self going. I mean, do you guys have to kind of get back to basics? You think of just the ball movement on the perimeter, just things that maybe got you where you are now? I don't think that they're intended, you know. I think that you see an advantage and you're trying to make the play. And that's how we've always played in a sense. And we've and in the beginning when things were going well, it looked good. And when we were making all the shots and making the right reads and the ball was getting through. Sometimes the ball doesn't get through. Like there was a lot of great opportunities where we kicked the ball ahead and the shot just didn't fall. And then we've done a good job of getting to the paint and kicking out or have the right intention of kicking the ball out and got a deflection. You know, so um, you're not expected to be perfect. And we don't expect anybody on the team to be perfect. And that's something that we've, we've grown with over the years and understanding how mentally tough we need to be because um, this team, the biggest weakness is going to be how we affect ourselves and what we do for one another. And it's less so about what others are going to do to us. We just have to make sure that we understand what we're trying to accomplish and, and just go out there and do it because we've, we've done it and we've proven that we can do it and we're going to uh, continue to do that. Grant, when you talk about getting guys in the right position and all that stuff offensively, I see a lot of communication going on out there. What, what are you guys talking about on the floor right now throughout the course of the game, pointing in different directions and the spacing and all that? Yeah, just talking about exactly what you said, spacing, understanding, get to our spots, get to the, these actions that we want to accomplish, who we're getting into involved in these actions, who we're placing in certain positions because we know we can take advantage of this person or because we know that this person helps or this person does this. So um, it's just a matter of, of that communication is going to be there throughout the season. And if we ever lose that, that's when things go the other way. So I think that that's the making of a good team or a great team, honestly, is being able to – communicate with one another in an efficient way, no matter if that's positive, negative, or any way, any way in between. Grant, I thought Admiral Schofield was your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking to do you dirty like that. Oh, no, he did a great, great job tonight. Sko played amazing. I'm just happy to see him uh, performing the way he is, you know. Um, he's worked his, his butt off to not only stay and get here, and it's, it's, it's special to see him shoot the ball the way he does and impact the team the way he does. He changes that locker room, and he's a high-character guy, and you, sh you just love that about him. And although he may have played well against us tonight, you know, it's a matter of us, you know, doing our job and making sure that doesn't happen. So we can't take any credit away from somebody. He played his butt off. Thank you, Grant. Thank you all.